net voor vertrek. Hè? Precies, net voor vertrek. De teller staat op ja. nul. While we drive over the highway next to the Bospop Festival to the tri-point with the borders of Belgium and Germany, let me tell you what you will see. Many, many curvy roads of course, U-turns going down and of course U-turns going up. Forts and castles and also unexpected challenges. Mountain lakes for a fresh dive into the water and beautiful views from hotels next to the roof to crest. Almost at the border we left the highway to cross the Belgian border at Emmerich. In Belgium the roads aren't always that great but it seems they're trying to do something about it. It's like going off-road where you don't expect it. Very soon already we find some very nice curvy roads in the woods, providing well received shadow because this Saturday in July it's 35 degrees Celsius. Our goal is to go to the Vosges. The Vosges is a range of low mountains in eastern France left to the Rhine Valley in Germany. To get there on day one we drive from Limburg to the city of Luxembourg in Luxembourg crossing the eastern Hertogenwald nature park, parts of the Eiffel nature park and following the Luxembourg border on the German side. We enter Luxembourg at the city of Wallendorf. Grenet created a great route for us to follow. We hardly encounter any oncoming traffic, even though it's high season. Luxembourg we stayed right in the city center. We had a well-deserved large beer and a cordon bleu. And after a good night's sleep, we are ready to leave the city of Luxembourg to go to Bitche. Bitche is located in the French part of the northern Vosges. But before we are there, we drive in a large circle, crossing the Hunsrück National Park and entering the northern Vosges via the German part of it below Kaiserslautern. Our hotel in Bitche, Le Relais des Châteaux Forts, not only had a shaded terrace but also a stunning view on the citadel, a fortress constructed by Marquis de Vauban under Louis XIV in the 17th century. Outside Bitche, in the northern Vosges, it is beautiful. It's fresh, it's green and it smells like cider, flowers and resin. Today we drive from Bitche in the north of the Vosges via the small connection of green woods left of Severne to the east side of the mountains to saint dier des vosges almost in the south of the Vosges. That is, we'll go to Le Bouton d'Or, a hotel on a mountainside about 45 kilometers to the southeast of saint dier it's almost 300 kilometers of mountain tracks. We took a wrong turn. But what really is a wrong turn here? And then, just after entering the D45 after Grand Rupt, the road turned out not to be wide enough. Fortunately, bruises were the only result of this slipping into the shoulder of the road and the broken headlight. But then there's a new challenge. How do we get a Yamaha Royal Star with a dry weight of more than 300 kilograms back onto the road? The friendly lady stops, but she doesn't have a towing cable. Let's move the bike into a more favorable angle. That works. And of course help arrives when most of the work is already done. It's like a life lesson. René is walking. The view over the valley is stunning. 
and the sun is shining when we wake up in Le Bouton d'Or. We leave the valley via a road on the side to explore more of the south of the Vosges. Today as well, we stop at a lake for a refreshing dive. Today we drive first to La Bresse in the south and then back up to saint croix aux mines more on the eastern side. We will drive part of the Route des Crêtes, meaning the back of the mountain, one of the most beautiful roads of the world, constructed in the First World War to connect the valleys north and south of the mountain ridge. In the evening, we arrive at our hotel with an incredible view over the Rhine Valley. We can see the Schwarzwald or Blackwood Mountains and the Kaiserstuhl Mountain in front of it. Not long after, the weather would change. Weather has cleared. We and the mother and her son are the only guests in this cloister-like bed and breakfast with a view. Soon we are on the road again. Today we are already driving in the direction of home. However, we will be in the Vosges the whole day. We drove away from our bed and breakfast just below Chateau du Haut Konigsbourg, through Saint Croix au Mines, and will drive all the way up to Severne on the border between the south and the north of the Vosges, and we will cross the French part of the north, and we will cross the German part of the north of the Vosges, all the way up to Kaiserslautern, and we will stay just above Kaiserslautern in Winweiler. Now we are above Saverne in the French part. And although I hadn't really noticed on the map in advance, these roads are really nice and stay that way all the way up to Kaiserslautern. And this is only five hours from Amsterdam via the highway. I will definitely go back here again. When we leave Winweiler near Kaiserslautern, the landscape becomes flat. Today we will drive home. It started with some sloping parts, but after a short stop at the Schaltenmerer Maar to take some pictures, we still have some very nice roads ahead. We will only take about 40 kilometers of highway in Germany from Duren to the Dutch border, and so our drive today will take about 8 hours. We will cross the northern part of the Hunsrug Nature Park and the eastern part of the Eiffel Nature Park before we take the A4 highway home. Here we have a view at the river Ruhr near Heimbach, where Burg Hengerbach once guarded the city. It is the last beautiful descent of our trip. The rest of the afternoon until early in the evening, we will drive over the highway back home. And now the evening is there, and we approach the A10 Amsterdam Ring Road. It is time to say goodbye, and to each drive off to different parts of Amsterdam. For those who did not already recognize our bikes, Here's René's bike. It's a 1999 Yamaha XVZ 1300 Royal Star. It has a four-stroke V4 engine of 1300 cc. And since this holiday I know its weight as well, over 300 kilograms. And of course, even with a missing headlight, it has the looks and the cool, laid-back air. Ariane's bike is a Yamaha as well. It's the 2018 XT1200 SE Yamaha Super Tenere. It has a four-stroke parallel twin engine of 1200cc. It does not only look tough and capable, it is tough and capable. It has it all, panniers, crash bars, all the electronics, it's agile, practical and beautiful. Thank you all for watching. 